Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Snom Shangam. I'm an immigrant living in Germany, Europe. So as the title says today, I'm sharing with you the visas that you can apply in order to visit Germany or to relocate to Germany or to study in Germany. So stay tuned as I'm sharing all the relevant information with you. Just like any other diaspora country, in Germany, you need a visa to come here. And they are very strict when it comes to their visa requirements. It's either you get it right or they won't give you. There is no two ways about it. So guys, stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. If this is the content you'd like to hear about all things Germany through the eyes of an immigrant. So guys, the first visa, of course, it has to be the au pair visa. I also came to Germany as an au pair. So with this visa, you need the au pair contract. You need the, your school certificate contracts. You need at least German language A1 level. Well, B1 will be a very, very added advantage. Um, you need health insurance confirmation. This one has to also include your unfall physician. That is the accident insurance. In case something happens to you during your au pair time. And also the host family's confirmation. The Melde Bishainigung has to be included. This one they can take it from the rat house. And then you also need the host family's questionnaire. And lastly, you will need a motivation letter. In this letter, you will have to write why you want to be an au pair. What are your career plans afterwards? The whole information about you, but in briefly, don't write a long letter. Just the key important points. The second visa is the voluntary service visa commonly known as the Freiwillige Sozialisia order Bundesfreiwilligendienst. So with this visa it's similar to the apprenticeship visa requirements. Both of them are very similar because when you do your uh, voluntary you've got a high chance to do your apprenticeship. So for these two visas you need your work contract or your school contract you need a cv curriculum vita a detailed one you need health insurance cover you can get this one online from dak or rok these are the two uh well there are also other ones the big um lawful gesetzlich uh, medical aid companies in germany you need a motivation later to say why do you want to do this apprenticeship or voluntary service in germany and then if the salary that you'll be getting will be less than 934 euros and your company doesn't offer accommodation, then you need a blocked account. In this blocked account, there has to be money uh, to be safe, have about 10,000 euros, which will be withdrawn every month. They want to see whether can you sustain your life. And then if this is not possible, you already have someone in Germany who is financially stable, they can do for you um, a verpflichtungs erklärung with this one it's like they are tying themselves to you that no we are going to help this person will take care of their needs in this and this way so then the difference comes now whereby with the voluntary service at least you need the a2 language and then with the apprenticeship it used to be b1 but now, because a lot of people are coming, they now consider B2, firstly. The third visa, then, is for the family reunion for your spouse and for your children. For this visa, you need your marriage certificate. It has to be translated and photocopied. And then you also need your spouse. If like your spouse is already in Germany and you are still, for example, in Zimbabwe, 
then this spouse in Germany has to go to the city wall and get their mail to be shiny. That is a confirmation that they live in Germany. It has to be stamped and signed. They, they are in the city hall. They know the standard. And then at least if you're applying this visa, you should be having a U1 German language. In this exam, you should have um, written at least maximal a year. If you have done it, let's say in five years and you want to use it to apply now, they won't consider it. They only say they want you to come here with at least the basic knowledge of German. And then your spouse lives here and they are not yet a German citizen or they already are. They have to give you the proof of that they reside in Germany. So it can be in the form of a residence card copy with their passport attached or it can be a copy of their German ID or German passport and with this visa what you have to do is you collect all these documents and make copies in translation they are very strict because it also takes time and you also have to prove that you are really married some people even put pictures it's a bit tricky but it's doable because a lot of people bring their partners. Number four will be the language course a visa. Germany allows you to come and learn the language within Germany. So with this visa, you need a blocked account or you need someone to declare, to sponsor you for your duration of the language course. So this person will have to go to the immigration office and sign a verpflichtungs clearing for you, stating that they'll cater for your food, accommodation, help, everything. Then you can get this visa. This visa is usually done by relatives. You need a motivation letter. And in this letter, you have to state why you want to learn the Deutsch language. Why? Are you, why is it so important to you? What are your career plans? And then you also need a confirmation from the language school where you are going to be doing it. It's advisable to book at least three Stufen. With three Stufen is three courses. For example, you book A1, A2, B1. At the same time, that then, then they can consider you first. A uh, language course will cost you about 900 euros per course. It's not a cheap visa. And then you also need, um, for this course, it has to be at least 18 hours minimum per week. So you are here to, start, uh, to learn the German language intensively. Because the weekend and evening classes are not considered they are insufficient for this visa also it's important to have your medical cover which includes unfall physician room number five and that's the last visa is the skilled workers visa also known as the blue card eu for europe this one you need to have your academic or professional cv here we are talking about professionals. They are no longer lenient like in the FSJ, in the au pair visas. And number two, you need your employer's declaration where they agree that you are coming to work in Germany. Number three, you need to have the academic degrees. For example, your doctorate, your master's, your bachelor's. The copies have to notarized if not in German or English, then you definitely have to translate them. And they can only be translated by a son or certified translator. Otherwise, when you let Snow translate it for you, they won't consider it. And then with this visa, uh, it's a strict visa because you're just leaving your country, coming straight in the tax line of Germany. So they want you to tell your honest truth about it. Don't fake, don't buy those certificates because <laughs> you'll be banned from Europe. With this visa, it's also aimed at qualified academic 
professionals employed in a position commensurate with their qualification and with the designed minimum remuneration of 58,400 euros per annum meaning you have to be a professional you can't earn so much money so guys in a nutshell for all the visas you need to be present in person at the embassy you also have to book your appointment on time because in some countries there is a very very long waiting period you also have to make copies at least two copies per original document you also have to present real original documents don't forge anything don't buy anything and number five you have to be punctual at the embassy because sometimes if you come late they won't take you and also you have to be organized don't bring papers don't take papers with the embassy you start scattering on the floor you are looking for this copy and for that copy of the thing whatever you left it you forgot it if you want to come to germany those are the five visas i could share with you if you are in germany or you also have got experience and you know of any other visa that i forgot please share in the comments and also its requirements as you don't know whom you could be helping a lot of people wish to live in this beautiful country have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys on my next one bye